Come on. Enough is enough, Commander. There's no reason for us to be fighting each other. If you still need a life to satisfy you, you can have mine. Tyon! If that helps put your heart at ease, if it settles the debt I owe Nimue, I'll do it. <laughs> what? C Commander? You turn into mud pie? Have you ever felt so much fondness that it made you quiver? Huh. That voice. Long time no see. You forgot about me. I missed you. All these sayings that have to do with time. They ring so insufferably hollow when you only have ten years on the clock. It doesn't feel real. But you know... No! It can't be! Noah... Uni... Riku... Land... I have to tell you, I am overwhelmed with emotion. Joran! Sincerely, I'm on the verge of tears. Joran! But you... Joran? You know him? Wait... I know him. Yes, Joran. Amid the rubble and the flames... He died in a battle with Agnes. They were all friends. But wait, how does that work? H how can he be...? Assuming the memories we saw were correct... Noah? <gasps> you're... you You're our you're... You, you were alive! Was I alive? Huh. Of course not. I did die on that day. Evidently. That's why I can be here now. You can call me Jay. Guess what? I'm a proud member of Mobius now. No. You can't mean it. You're... You see, they gave me this incredible power. I can take... people's memories and refashion them into my very own mud puppets. Mud puppets? Refashion my wings? <gasps> no, not yet. I could go. You'd make good puppets. 
What profound and clear-sighted words would your cold lips utter? I've so wished to hear. Why did you have to go and become Ouroboros? Hmm? <laughs> oh, you were never like this. What did they do to you? What do you think you knew of me? You didn't know anything. I am only myself, Uni. The realest, truest me. I don't need to hide anymore. I can finally be me. Becoming Mobius? Best thing that ever happened to me. I want you to feel it. Feel the joy I feel. Feel my absolute elation!
Did you get a good taste of it? Of my elation? Cut the crap! What are you droning on about? I don't buy it. I refuse to believe you're him! You aren't our Yorin! Yorin saved our lives! Urine! Urine! <laughs> Urine! <laughs> Urine! 
You don't get it. You honestly don't get it. In that instant, I rose above you miserable fools by saving your worthless, piddling lives. It was indescribable, Lands. Yoren. Ah, uh, wasn't this fun? I guess I'll call it a day here. Can't be hoarding all the fun for myself now. Gotta leave some for the next guy or gal. Say what? I should thank you, Lands. Because I get to be like this now, and I owe it to you. Toodles! the residential area. Do you think it's behind the waterfall? Seems so. Let's stay alert. Where's Commander Izzard?
Hi, Han. So that's what happened. I'm sorry. I don't remember a thing. Except for that console silhouette. Did I say anything to you? I didn't say something hurtful, did I? Not at all. You were your usual self, Commander. Our pride and joy. The same as always. Tyon. I see. I'm sorry. Is, is that? Nimue. She always cared so much about you. You possess an acuity that sets you apart. You'll be an elite, head and shoulders above the likes of us. Nimue. She wouldn't stop going on about you. <laughs> so someone called you a coward? Nonsense. Consider it what you are. Perhaps to a fault, you heeded a comrade's opinion. Isn't that right? <laughs> Here's another thing she mentioned. That if you let us, if we could gain victory through your kindness, she'd have loved to see it. <laughs> Even if it's too much, it should be yours to carry. And if you keep it safe, someday, I'd like you to go visit her. How can I visit? At the Cadencia Frontier, beyond the Far Lane Underpass, there's a place where Sophronias bloom. Nimue always loved their flowers. And one of them was especially brilliant. I'd like you to bury it there. That'll show her, beyond all doubt, your victory through kindness. Some new names registered. What are you going to do outside? Oh, you know, Noah said he was going to do his thing, so.
They were literal clods, man. Nobody's actually died. Who are you doing that for? Land's got no tact. Do too. Is about atoning. Riku, what you saying there? Why are we seeing them off? I know they were only hollow vessels. But ultimately, we chose to fight and kill them. And nothing can change that fact. Even if there's no one to actually see off, we have to atone for that. In nutshell. Oh, I see. Atonement, huh? Hey, is his dad okay with this? It's kinda... Yeah, he doesn't mind. All right, guess you're all weirdos. Still, kind of strange. I wonder when it all started. I couldn't tell you exactly when, but I would surmise it started out as a kind of process for the upkeep of the world. Sounds like a crazy kind of process. This is all going way over my head. Quite simple, actually. It gives a sense of security. Lets you think your dead friends are looking out for you from above. Alleviating feelings of guilt and of loss. That's how I understand it. Yeah, okay, but ain't there plenty of people who don't care about that? What matters is that it is there. You don't need to pay attention. You don't need to do anything. But the way it is designed, if you think about it, it just works. We are told our life is born from the Queen, and to the Queen it returns. However, that's only if you make it to your homecoming. But what of the others? What of those who fall on the battlefield? Nobody knows. Where do they go? Seeing eyes into the sky serves to dispel any unease. You end up believing, well, they're going somewhere. But where is somewhere? The Queen's place? No clue. You what, mate? That's kind of non-committal for you. Disappointed? Nah, not fast. that stuff out here. Colony's got a perfectly good kitchen. <laughs> out of commission, apparently. Somebody made a real mess of the place. W hold on a sec. Sorry, Mia. I, if we hadn't done what we did, chances are we would have all been dead by now. Uh, th that's why we... It's all right. Everyone understands why. You were really brave, Senna. Uh, really? You're not just saying that? Nope. Meh. <laughs> this real thrill of travel. Excitement mounting. Huh. Seriously. Nopon can be a bit too easygoing. Everyone deals with things in their own way. Is that right? And why are you acting all normal? It was Yoren. He was... He looked just like his old self. I suppose... You think you're the reason for that, do you? Huh? In that case, I'm telling you to drop it right now. So Yoren turned up. That alone isn't so bad. Of course it is! Figuring out why it happened. That's what we should do. What do you mean, why it happened? The reason we became Ouroboros. The reason the world looks like this. It's all connected. I'm sure of it. 
Or maybe you just want it that way. Better than being stuck in the past. I won't. I can't. I'll never snuffing forget. There shouldn't be any life in those bodies, but the moats still rose. So that means I knew it. The dead don't think anything. They don't speak. But survivors speak for them, to celebrate their life and death. That's why I'm here. Still alive. It ain't like you to sulk like this. Piss off. Now I'll bust your chops. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe not, but I'm getting warmer. You need, for Spark's sake, breathe the room. Hard pass. Look, Lance, I was there too. Oh. No one's asking you to forget. No one's just saying, move on. Ah, Noah. He's always a step ahead, eh? You know he's an officer. He's closer to it all than we are. To the ones who are gone. Being left, it... It ain't easy. I know. Still, I don't want to disappear. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Not like we can afford to go just yet. Commander, bites the dust! I'll kill you! <laughs> he had two months to go! And you mutters killed him! <laughs> sea guy, forgive me.
All dead, all done. Yeah. Ah, did you hear those dulcet death throws, though? She guy, forgive me. Forgive what? Why is she apologizing? Ah, humans! Such useless pawns. So I win then. Nauseating. Might we infer from that, N? Is there naught here but these vulgar pleasures? Huh. I see why you would feel that way. But you have not the luxury. Say what you mean. Pleasures and sorrows, meetings and partings, their roots are the same. Tolerance of existence is at the heart of them all. You want me to frolic with them? You shall find there's no such thing as luxury in this world. Everything buds from but a single thought. That you yourself are here is proof definite thereof. Hmm. You need not understand. You can simply remain as you are, that is enough. <laughs>